Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stream. We're fucking hyped right now. It's the Scrub series. We've been doing a lot of iRacing recently. We've been doing some Thunder 2003 whenever iRacing has some poopoo -poo combos. But the Scrub series is fucking back, ladies and gentlemen. If you've never seen this before, this is essentially marbles on stream, but it is fucking NASCAR trucks. And we keep track of points and everything. It's a good time. Hope you guys have you if you guys have never seen this before, I hope we can give you a little bit of a laugh. Um, I try to make this the most batshit insane broadcast that you will ever see when it comes to something motorsports related, other than Mooncar, because Mooncar is fucking undefeated. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Scrub Series draft order. Draft order that's going to be determined today. We have 16 teams that need to figure out where they're going to be. And we're using something very, very professional. We're on abc.com. It is a website used to teach fucking elementary school level children. And honestly, this is this is the shit that I found that works. So literally, it's it's really loud, so I'm probably gonna have to mute this tab. Um, so it's the random name picker. So literally all I do is that I just copy and paste all of the team names in here. <laughs> And then you put it in and then we spin the wheel whenever somebody gets picked you take it out And then we just keep going until we figure out who has the number one pick in the upcoming draft Which will take place after race five t-bone. Thank you for the biddies man. Appreciate you. This is gonna be a good one So here are the teams uh, For the upcoming season we have 97 motorsports, which is my team you got howling wolf autosport drive through racing ventures We have p1 esports. We got doggo racing ventures strawberry shlomo racing shock motorsports Eclipse motorsports dark ride motorsports mf shick box motorsports dumpster fire mo We got the dudley spuds which, which belongs to our boy Jade. That's Jade's team. Spuds, yes sir. Yes sir. We got the Chipmunk Auto Sport. We got Jason's Little Asians. We got Jeepers Creepers Automobiles. And we have the Soundhead Motorsports Division. We do have Mr. Eddie Soundheadward participating in this series next year. So who's going to be get drafted by Ed Soundhead? I guess we'll find out in a couple weeks if we actually get these races out of the way. So appreciate all you guys coming through. Tango, DualShock, Katori, T-Bone, Shlomo. I'm trying to read as many as I can. Uh, Nate, I see you. Thank you for the raid, man. Appreciate you. Uh, we got Derek. We got DJF. All you guys, man. But we're going to go ahead and carry on. If you don't see your... If you're the literally the one team that doesn't see your name on this wheel, don't panic. It's still there. It just only shows 15 at a time. And we have like 16 teams. So are we ready to spin the wheel, Jade? Yes, sir. I think we are. All right. So who is going to be the poor motherfucker that picks last in the first round? So if they pick last in the first round, they pick first in the second round. It gets reversed. So if you get the number one pick overall, you get the very last pick, too. It's a serpentine effect to kind of balance everything out. So what we're going to do is we're spinning this shit. No. Hold on, man. We need we need a good we need a good playlist of this. Oh, not the American average. Uh, oh, doggo! No! Damn! You hate to see it, bro. Uh, I was kind of hoping doggo didn't get the last pick, but you know what? It's Man, good. were you, though? Were you? Nah, I was, nah, I was hoping for Shlomo to get the first one. <laughs> oh, shit, alright. What do you have against Shlomo? Oh, wait a minute, he timed you out. I understand Him now. and Tango. <laughs> Him and Tango. Alright, so doggo picks 16th. Uh, in the first round, um, I don't know if he's here. I don't know if I saw him or not. Is Doggo here? Is Doggo here? I think he is. Actually, no, I don't think he is. So somebody tell Doggo he's got the last pick, <laughs> but he gets the first pick in the second round. That's not too bad. All right, who's gonna pick fifteenth? This is a beautiful draft lottery, by the way. Like I'm very excited that I found this. Who's picking fifteenth? MF Shikbox. That's my dad. Oh wow. So my dad gets 15th. Carrying on. Alright. Who's picking 14th in the draft? And it is. Oh, drive-through. Yeah, drive -through. Mr. Drive-by picking 14th in the first round. Hate to see it, or maybe you love to see it. Depends how you feel about Canadians, but that's none of my business. All right, so who's picking 13th in the draft? We're flying through this. We got to get to Dover as soon as we can. P1 Esports. I forgot who P1 Esports is. Is that a... 
I think that's... Who the fuck owns P1 Esports? I forgot. <laughs> Hold on, man. I'm about to bring out the spreadsheet. Hold on. Hold on, dog. Is DJ Harris? Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's DJ. All right, DJ, you're picking 13th in the draft. Uh, the, the draft takes place. If you're wondering, the draft takes place um, after the sixth race. I'm going to have like a whole draft sheet laid out. So if you're a team owner, uh, you're going to have all that information available to you. Um, you know, it'll probably be like average finishes, average starts and all that. Um, you know, laps led, all of the, the stats that actually mean mean a shit. So we're going to have all that ready. All right. So picking 12th, Edward Sound Edward. I really hope that I don't get like the first pick overall because people are going to think it's fucking rigged. Like y'all see it, man. There's no way I can rig this thing. At least I'm, that's what I'm trying to give y'all. Random number generator. Uh, Nate is asking if you can give him a DN update. A what? A DN update. Huh? A DN update, Jade. What is that? What is what? DN. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. All right. All right. <laughs> I ain't never heard of that one, but alright. <laughs> Goes in the army for five months, comes back gullible as fuck. Uh, it's alright, they got me last week with it. I feel you. Alright, Jason's Little Asian is picking 11th. So shout out to Jason. My man. What's up, Sunok? How we doing? We're just in the middle of our beautiful little draft lottery right now. Yes, sir. Let's all go. Alright, who's 10th? Who's picking 10th? Alright, alright, it's not rigged. It's not rigged. I'm picking tenth. I can deal with that. Oh, this that yeah, there's gonna be plenty of drivers out that's, that are picking when I pick tenth. Yeah. All right, so there's ten drivers, ten teams left. Actually, no, there's nine teams left. I can't fucking count. Nine teams left. Let's go. First stream back, and Jade gets these nuts. Man, you hate to see it. You really do. Strawberry Shlomo will be picking ninth in the upcoming draft. So okay, shout out Shlomo. Like like right in the middle shit. I shot the wrong <laughs> Shlomo in the chat. The owner of Shlo Strawberry Shlomo Racing, upon hearing where he's drafting, says, Shit! Dumpster Ooh. Fire Mo, picking eighth. That's our boy Nuke Man. He's very excited to put together those cars for Dumpster Mire Fire Mo. All right, picking seventh in the draft. We officially reached the halfway point of this lottery. Oh, oh, you're still in it, baby. You're still in it. So, Dark Ride Motorsports. I think that is Razor's team. All right. So, we got six more teams. Any one of these teams could wind up drafting first overall. So, let's give it a look. Let's give it a look, boys. Oh, the, the game is not racing. Oopsie, oopsie. Yeah. Let's go race in 2003 season. All right, bet. Shout out to our boy Tango. He is going to be uh, drafting six. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's not bad. That's very respectable. Horrible. It's very respectable. All right. So who do we got left? We got Shock Motorsports, Eclipse Motorsports, the Dudley Spuds, Chipmunk Autosport, and Jeepers Creepers Automobiles. The top five of the draft. Let's get it. I don't want to get number Top five draft spot. Eclipse Motorsports. Eclipse Motorsports. There it is. I forgot who owns Eclipse. Who, who has Eclipse? Somebody open the spreadsheet. Tell me who has Eclipse. Because I forgot. DJF got you, man. DJ. DJF. You're in the top five of the draft, my friend. So let's fucking get it. Top four. Oh! The Dudley Spuds. Fourth. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. The Dudley Spuds. There it is. Now remember, the, you you better you need to hit. If you're picking high, you need to hit because at this point, you you guys are also have like a draft pick that's like down in the low twenties too for the second round. So you gotta hit with these uh, first draft picks, man. All right. The top three order. Here we go. Jeepers Creepers Automobiles. We'll be picking third in the draft. And here we go. Who's that? 
Oh, that's my sister. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. It's literally, the logo is literally a picture of a fucking creeper. Um, alright. So here it is. Shock Motorsports. Chipmunk Autosport. Who's gonna get the first overall pick in the draft, ladies and gentlemen? Who's getting that number one spot? Oh my god, Shock is getting second, which means Chipmunk Autosport is going to be getting the number one overall pick, ladies and gentlemen. Chipmunk Autosport is the last one. So shout out VCM. He's going to get the first overall pick of the draft. I'm just gonna save that. Which means he also gets the last pick of the draft. So it's gonna be fucking nuts to see if he can land. So they see this here, here comes the dilemma here. Because if his driver doesn't do well in the scrub series, will he still draft himself number one? Or is he going to pick up an absolute stud and then hope that his driver falls down to 32nd or something? We'll see. We'll see. So this is going to be a good one. All right, so there is... He, here's the order for the draft. If you're drafting high, good for fucking you because I'm not. I'm down in 10th. So... Doggo is in 16th, MF Shickbox, we have Davin in 14th, P1 Esports in 13th, Soundhead in 12th, Jason's Little Asian is 11th, 97 Motorsports is 10th, Strawberry Shlomo, 9th, Dumpster Fire Mo right in the middle in 8th, 7th is Dark Ride Motorsports, 6th is Howling Wolf Motorsports, 5th, Eclipse Motorsports, 4th is The Dudley Spuds, 3rd is Jeepers Creepers, 2nd is Shock, and 1st is Chipmunk Autosport. And you know, these will be reversed, so Doggo will have uh, two picks in a row. MF Shuckbox will pick like 18th. It's not bad, it's not bad. So it, it evens out at the end of the day. So whoever gets these earlier picks are going to be getting those later picks. Alright, so yeah. this is saved. We will not lose that. Um, I will post that in the Discord. Actually, I could probably do it now. I could do that right now. Hold on, I'll do that in the Discord like right now. To get you being efficient. Season one draft order. I see the giant blimp. I just typed that out when I didn't have to. Oops. Alright. Boom. Actually no, I shouldn't do this until I like I flip it I flip it around. So that way there's you know all thirty two picks are up there. Alright boys. So hope you guys enjoyed that draft lottery. But well, you know, that's only the beginning of the show, ladies and gentlemen, because now we still have an actual race to do. It's gonna be a good one. So let's fucking get to it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and start some NR. And let's get fucking nuts with it. Balls to the wall. Balls to the fucking wall, boys. It's about that time. Yes, I have a question. Who's Omar? <laughs> He's hot. I don't think I was here for that. <laughs> you weren't. It was the only race you weren't here for. Wow. Okay. So, um... Does anybody... Yeah, rip Omar, man. Rip Omar. So, Omar is... Omar was... Um, an official. At our last race. He was literally... He was, um... He was like the pit road official. And he got killed twice. In the last race. Both times, it was by John. So John killed this man in the first race. We had to restart the race because the game crashed. And then John fucking killed him again. So, it's like he, like, the, his truck fucking destroyed him. Like, it hit him and it destroyed him. It was a graphic scene. It was really, uh, it was really awful. Yikes. So, yeah, rip Omar. We love Omar. I remember texting you about this, like, um, when you actually had your phone. <laughs> Alright, boys. So we already have the qualifying order laid out. Uh, we were going to be showing you guys that in a minute. This is Dover, ladies and gentlemen. Let's fucking get it. It's about that time! The Scrub Series! Driver, it's back! We are so excited. This is very exciting. Well, let me get Discord up real quick. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's about that time, boys. 100 laps around the Monster Mile, and it is going to be a damn good one. Hope you guys got your popcorn ready. Got your pineapple. 
Hope you got a protein bar or some Oreos, whatever you may have, because it is going to be a fucking nuts one. Get Hope you guys get your little snacky snacks. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So it's about that time. We are going to introduce our starting lineup. We have 20 viewers ready for the restart of the Scrub Series. Race 4 at Dover. And it's going to be a damn good one. Let's fucking get it. Here we go. We're about to introduce the starting lineup, baby. Let's get it. Ace Doggo Maker starting on pole alongside Win Nergenton making his Scrub Series debut. Jade, take row two, baby. All right, and we have Tangle Wolf and Alpha Dean Man. Bam, son. You love to see it, baby. Row number three, we have Jackson Lucas Hullet. He's sitting 12th in points alongside Jason Sambon at 17th, the most Asian man in the field. Then we have Benjamin Fanning, the Rockingham winner. Wow, congrats. Harley Payne, who debuted last race. Oh. <laughs> Hudson Catskill starting in row five alongside Mika Suzuki. 30th in points. He's been pretty ass, not gonna lie. Uh, then we have Timothy Bone. He's much better than a mod driver. Uh, and then we have John. We love John. Shout out, John. Row seven, Matthew Burnett. He's sitting 28th in points. Hate to see it. Alongside Jade Pagan, the only driver who's crashed out twice, you bitch. Then we have Christian Slomir and then Lane Bricks, who's six in points. Row nine, we got Emily Everland sitting ninth in points alongside Nate Stewart. He's not very good in the scrub series, but he's killing it in Road to Pro. Shout out, Nate. Then we have Fast Frag, who debuted the last race at the TTS Superdome. And then we have Brad Flynn, who's better. Who's better <laughs> Row 11, it's me! I'm ass! I can't rig this series for shit alongside the menace to society, Mr. Isaac Johnson. And then we have Everett, Eric Keplinger, my boy, and then Becca Pierce. And she led the last six laps. So Float some, come get some, got some sitting in row 13 alongside Derek Smith, who likely has the most generic C name in the series. And then we have Carter Boyd, he's still in fit, uh, place 15, and Kyle Salomon, biggest David Schleid Schleidhouse. <laughs> row 15, David Cornelius, the most Canadian person on the grid, and alongside Leotis Pellet, 23rd in points. And we have DJ Harris. We have the Phoenix winner and VCM Chipmunk. He's a vibrant ass truck. And rounding out the field, we have Mr. Kyle Driscoll. He was the winner last race at the Taylor Swift Superdome alongside my literal fucking dog. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time for the Scrub Series. Hope you guys enjoyed those graphics. We got the hype going, ladies and gentlemen. It's about that time. It's Scrub Series time, baby. Let's get it. Lomo, I still need to know how to say your last name, man. You said Shlomir. You love to see it. Shlomir? Shlomir? Shlomir. Lanier. 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 Just call it fucking Lanier. Alright, you're Lanier now, Shlomo. Shlomo Lanier. Who the fuck is Nate Stewart? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. It's about that time. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. If it crashes, uh, fuck it. We'll just shorten the lap length or whatever. You know, we're we're not the we're not the Coke series. We're not going to just like not restart it. We're gonna restart it. We got it. Don't even worry about it, man. Been a while since we've uh done a little bit of a little bit of spectating in NR, so bear with me if I make any mistakes. This is gonna be a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Ace Dogglemaker is going to be leading the green. The pace truck is off, fellas. We're about to get rocking and fucking rolling at Dover, ladies and gentlemen. Where's that green flag? Where's that green flag? Show it to me. Show it to me. It's the green flag, ladies and gentlemen. The Scrub Series is back underway. We got Jade back in the booth. It's a good ass Friday afternoon, baby. They zooming. They fucking zooming. They fucking zooming. I love the designs of these cars, man. Like you kind of, you really. They're all, they're all literally the fucking same thing, but I just mixed up the colors. But they still look good. Oh my god, they're about to, they were about to go fucking four wide out of that shit. We look at Win Nergenton making his debut. He leads the first lap of the race. Shout out Win Nergenton. Fucking flexing his muscle on the early going of this race. I think they're about to go four wide back here. They're fucking nuts. What are they doing? Yo, oh, fading! Oh, Ben! Oh, oh he's gonna slide back up into. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my. <laughs> 
Oh shit! Yo! <laughs> Yo! Benjamin Fanning gets fucking dumped and comes back up into the track and takes up like 15 trucks with him. The Scrub Series is back and premiere for all. Oh, they're still wrecking after the line. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! What? Oh, yo, my boy. That, yo, yo. Emily Everlin upside down. That's not good. You hate to see it. Nah, I think my dog really? survived. Oh, oh shit. Poor one out for the homies, man. Poor Ben Fanning gets spun out. Uh, luckily, the damage is on moderate, so these guys still have a chance to come back into this race. Hold yeah. on, man. That was fucking ridiculous. Damn, Ben. Lock the brakes, dog. What is you doing? I gotta give this another look. Just gets Ooh. fucking dumped Ooh. by the 82. The 82! The 82's making their debut and already taking out Hudson Catskill. Fucking Hudson Catskill. Look at this dude. Just fucking bodies him. Honestly, takes himself out along with like 10, 15 other trucks. Fucking hey, look at Flotsam come get some, got some. Getting through the carnage. There goes Blad Brad Flynn upside down. This is fucking absurd. The Scrub Series is back in peak form. Playoff Scrub Series. I th oh, did he get spun out still? Oh, I thought he made it through. Shit. Latino. Oh my god, hold on. Thank you guys for the biddies, man. Appreciate it. This is fucking nuts. I think he almost made it through. Oh, he almost did, and then he got clipped again by a fast frag in the 69. You hate to see it. You really do. Alright, man. 82 made more laughs than he did Mazepin in his debut. Like, he did, he did, he made a few laughs. So shout out to him. Alright, so we have Wynn Nergentid up front right now. We have the pace car up front even more. Uh, Brad Flynn is coming out of the pits. Uh, Emily Everlin, ninth in points. Already retired from this race. She will be finishing 34th. Hate to see it. It looks like everybody else is still on the lead lap, so that's good. So shout out to those guys. But you know what it is, man. Whenever we have a wreck like this... It is crucial that we try to pay the bills. So you guys know what must be done. Yes, sir. You guys know what must be done. But hold on. First of all, I have to change the transition. I really hope I can do that on the stream deck soon. But we getting lit, baby. It's time for an advertisement. Hello? Hey, who? What's up? None, B. Just watching the game. Having a bud. So, but you, nothing. Watching game, having a butt. True, true. What's that? What's that? Yo, who's that? Tango, Hello. thank you for the biddies. Look at the phone. Hello. What's that? What's that? Yeah. Yo, where's Dookie? Yo, Dookie. Yo. What's that? What's that? Hello? <laughs> so what's up, B? Watching the game, having a bud. True. True. Oh shit, I forgot to turn that off. <laughs> what's up? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We're back, man. Hey, if y'all have any uh, special ads that you want me to put in for the next Scrub Series race, drop them in the Discord, man. Um, I'll probably make a channel just for commercials, uh, so you guys can suggest what you want. This series is all about you guys, man. Uh, this series, like, this is all your trucks. The next series is always, it's all gonna be cars that you guys have painted or had somebody else paint for you. Um, this is you guys, your teams, it's your drivers. If you guys have any funny ass ads that you want me to put in here, I'm gonna make a channel for that in the Scrub Series, uh, category. This is all about you guys, man. This would not be possible without all of you. I remember when I started doing, like, NR2003 shit on my channel, and I literally just put all my friends' names in there. And then, like, as we went on, we had more and more people find us on YouTube, and it was really cool. But now we have 34 drivers in here. It's, like, 34 different fucking people, aside from my dog, that signed up for this. And it's a good time, man. Yes, the pace truck is yeah. in! Jade, take this call, baby. Shake it. All right. And the green flag is off. Here we go. Back up at it with the scrub series, you know. We got the the bubble gum flavor, you know. Honestly, yo, you know what I miss? Hubba Bubba. 
high key. <laughs> hubba Bubba. I actually never had really had Hubba Bubba as a kid, to be honest. Really? It like yo, you know, it'd be weird. Like I see, I would see kids bite like the roll, like, well, like just you, just like, take open it and bite it as if it's some sort of like yes, if it's like gummy. Yes, that would be genuinely so weird to me because I'm like, bro, this isn't that like you're, fucking you're cursed. Here. Yeah, bro, you're like, you're not human. Like, if you do that shit, I don't know what the fuck you're on. Oh, like... oh look at this man. Wind Nergeton hoping, holding it on the high level. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What happened to me? Why am I stuck on the big? Please don't hit me. Oh, my God. No, oh, don't oh, hit me. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my... What are y'all doing? What happened? What the fuck are y'all doing? Yo, I feel like it's going to be like this until, um, until we get some fucking trucks out of here, man. It's going to be crazy. Shout out to John, he's still alive. Where's John at? John's sitting P9. Y'all can suck his dick. Oh, hold on, hold on, man. What happened to me? What happened to me, man? Literally oh, all dude. fucking incompetent. What happened to me? Why did I get... How did I get my fucking DJF spun me out? Are you serious? Absolute bastard. And then Isaac hits me. Oof. And then I'm just sitting here. And these guys are still coming at me full speed. And I'm just sitting here, like, I, I can't do anything because none of my tires are hitting the ground. And the game's not taking- Oh, look at this, man! Look at this! This is a terrifying sight! Bro, you just sit in there, and then you just- Oh, DJ, if you didn't spin me. Who did spin me? Who's the fucker that spun me? Back up! Alright, man, I, I'm taking away her VIP badge, bro. I'm taking it away. It's revoked. Don't give a fuck. I, I literally don't care. Alright. So that was all to see from that caution. Uh, John just pitted. I'm pretty sure these guys have to pit at least once during the race. If they pit now, I don't think they have to pit for the rest of the race. So we are 10 laps in. It is a beautiful thing. Oh, shit, Tango. <laughs> Yo, I got like 30 minutes now. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Uh, oh, shit! I banned him! <laughs> Wow. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Alright, time out. <laughs> Alright, we good, we good. Wow. I, I unbanned you, I unbanned you. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Hey man! Those those buttons look pretty similar. Alright. They they different but they all the same. Alright. So caution flags out yet again. We gotta keep playing, guys. We gotta keep paying the bills. There's a little Audi, there's my there's my sibling. Shout out, generation stupid. You love to see it. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, check out another ad, shall we? I think it's about that time. What, Ed Jade, what ad do you think I should play, man? The panda. They couldn't even kill the panda? I don't know. I thought we were going to tease him a little bit before we showed him the panda. Nah, because I'm. I just, it's, 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 it's my first time back, so you know what? I think they deserve the panda. All right, so you're a man of the people. Love to see it. The army really did change you. We'll be right back. After a moment from our panda. Faze, I'm gonna let my son look so good, man. You just you know why. Why you and I. How much more do you want from me? More. How much more successful do you want me to be? More successful. How many records can my records break? More records. But, but I'm the best. But are you a different animal and the same beast? What the f does that mean, Kobe Bryant? You're welcome. What the f is he talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Guess who's in the lead? Guess who is in the fucking lead, boys? It is everybody's favorite driver. It's John. John's in the lead, baby. <laughs> Let's fucking go. These two guys are like, these four guys are all fighting to get their lap back. John is in the lead right now. You love to see it. <laughs> Where's the Scott? Where are you? Oh, shit. Uh... 
Yeah, where are you? Oh, you're you're eleventh. You're fine. You're fine. You're hanging in there. You just gotta at least survive, though. All right. Pace truck is in. John is leading the field to green. Actually, he's not leading the field to green, but like, you know, he's he's chilling in the lead. But like, he ain't leading the pack. You know what I mean? Uh, NASC NR2003 is fucking weird, man. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know why they didn't just put these guys into the back of the pack. So shout out John, looking to fucking kill these lap cars ahead of him. Uh, my dog just got lapped again. You hate to see it. And so did Brad Flynn. There goes John. John, the biggest baby face in the business right now. He is sitting second in points, so if he gets a win here, that'll most definitely put him in the lead. Um, considering Benjamin Fanning, Fanning already got spun out. And it looks like these guys are... Oh, Emma, somebody gets, almost got spun out back there. I was about to say Everlyn, but she are, she's already out. It's a little bit of a lineup update. Uh, Brad Flynn, O'Connor Bold, and Carlos Borges are all a lap down. Um, Everlyn is out of the race, just totally, just completely out of the race. And here comes John, about to get passed by Lane Briggs. John is blocking a little bit low right there. And Lane Briggs is just going to have to tuck him behind, wait for his moments, wait for his opportunity to strike. You see a little bit of damage to his uh, to his spoiler right there. But will Lane Briggs do the deed? Will he spin out John? Will he become the biggest, the biggest baby face of the business? Shout out Timothy Bone! He's been having a rough scrub series so far, but he's trying to make some moves. Look at you, T-Bone. Out here making moves. Look at T-Bone, man. Inspirational. And love everybody behind them are like 3-4 wide. You see everybody in the late pack right there. There goes Lane Bricks on the inside. And on the outside is Davin Cornelius. They're three wide for the lead behind the lapped car of Matthew Burnett. They're going four wide, four wide, four wide for the lead. There goes John. He gets spun out. Carter Boyd's going to come out of here unscathed. There goes John, Lane Briggs, and Timothy Bone. They all get spun out, coming to the line, going four wide for the lead. And John has been dumped, and everybody's stacking up behind him. Yeah, what is going on? <laughs> oh, there goes John, but also there goes Timothy. But oh, Fast Freg is in the is in the pits with some engine damage. Hate to see it. Uh, Davin's going to be pitting right when the pace truck comes out. I don't understand this motive. But Carter Boyd came out of there unscathed. For now, this is literally going to be survival of the fittest today, boys. It's going to be fucking insane. Boy, let's go ahead and take a look at that incident real quick. If I can fucking find whoever was in the incident, Jesus Christ. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! Look at this, man. That was fucking tight right there. You see these boys go four wide for the lead. A lap like 16, 15. Damn it, Cornelius up high. Oh my god. This is what the Scrub Series is all about, ladies and gentlemen. They're literally just giving it their all. There's just okay. not enough room to go around four wide. Yo, Timothy Bone slams yeah. the inside wall. Damn. Oh, look at Jade! Does Jade make it through? Oh, Jade, look at you, dog. You made it through. Unscathed. Inspirational, man. Jade, how are you feeling after avoiding that wreck? I feel, you know, great, you know, because I'm the fucking best. Oh, you're the fucking best. All right, all right. I don't know. I think I think people would have to disagree with you, considering they keep timing you out in I, chat. I, I, I don't care. You know what? I'm the fucking best. <laughs> it looks I, like I know this. I'm the fucking best. Don't get it twisted. That is all. All right, Jay. Jay's feeling a little hostile tonight. I understand. I understand. You know the the pressure can kind of get to you sometimes. It looks like I'm down pit road again. God fucking damn it. Uh, T-Bone's gonna be in the back of the pack now after getting it. He was super excited to be in, like, the top three, but now that all disappears in the blink of an eye, you hate to see it. But uh, Carter Boyd, chilling out in the lead right now. John is still second. After getting spun out, John is still second. Lane Bricks is chilling in third. Kyle Driscoll's fourth. Can he go back-to-back? -back? We'll just we'll just have to see. Win Nergenton chilling in the top five, making his debut. Then you have Tango, Jade, Ace Dogglemaker, Alpha D-Man, and DJ Harris rounding out the top ten. But fuck the rest of the lineup, man. We need to pay the bills. So we're going to go ahead. Ad. <laughs> Yo, what? Time for another ad. Any DNFs after that crash? Uh, Fast Freg with a valve. I don't think he was in that incident, though. Like, he was uh, blowing up before that even happened. So we'll check on Fast Freg a little later on. Because we have to pay the pills. I'm a sellout. Joe's barbecue and foot massage. Joe's barbecue and foot massage. You better come down here, get some of this shit. You like to eat? America loves to eat. 
So why not open up somewhere America can sit down, enjoy a meal, and get their feet rubbed? We'll fry anything you want for $5.99. As long as it's friable or edible, we are gonna make it deliciousable. We will fry parts of the chicken you didn't even know was friable. The beak, the feathers, we'll fry candy bars. All that European stuff that you don't really normally eat, we'll bring it down here and fry it for you. Ask McDonald's to fry something other than what they normally fry. Guess what you gonna get? Nothing. If it fit through the dough, I'll put it in the fryer. Hell, this is a dinosaur. All our meats are gently tenderized to their optimum deliciousness. We got fine dinosaur meats. Took my money, made me pay child support. Come on down here and get you a slice. Once they get your social security number, it's over. Motivated, 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 motivated. So friends, let's just decide you don't want no barbecue. Well, that's fine too. Why not let one of my foot specialists or myself perform my magic? Look at that, don't they look wonderful? If you really pay me enough, we'll massage your feet in any of these sauces also. Success is the rule down here at Jones, good ass barbecue and foot massage. So go ahead and give me a call or find us on them worldwide internets at the new website. That's J-O-N-E-S, big ass truck rental and storage.com backslash Jones. Good ass barbecue and foot massage. HTML. Excuse me, did you call number 52? Did you hear me call number 52? Perfect timing, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. <clears throat> Pace truck just came off. Carter Boy's going to be leading them to the green flag. We got John right behind him. These guys already have a little bit of history after that wreck earlier on. <clears throat> Will anything else happen between these guys? I don't doubt it, man. These guys are fucking ferocious. Yo, know, they be going three wide, four wide. It's nuts. <coughs> Target. We'd love to see it. Bomb with a helicopter. There's always something interesting happen in the scrub series. This is where you can get your quality content, guys. Well, Carter Boyd's kind of stretching the gap a little bit. He's taking him to Gapple Bees real quick. Is a, oh, somebody almost got turned. I look like Eric Keplinger back there. If my eyes do not deceive me, and it is. These guys are three wide. VCM Chipmunk holding on that middle line. He won the number one draft pick due to the lottery earlier on. But oh, I got turned again. My monkey Becca. What? Why? Oh my, yo. I got turned again by Becca. Bro, I just. Got Why? Oh, the ass pack from Matthew Burnett to Nate Stewart. Jesus oh Christ. My goodness. What is this, bro? Yo, I loved over. This is some dumb shit. Oh, Nate. Oh, he might be done. He's stuck on the banking. Oh. Oh, no, Nate. Nate, get going. Nate, come on, bro. Oh, you hate to see it, man. Fucking Nate. Float some, come get some, got some. It's just lipping around the track. Will we ever get a green flag run? I don't know, man. This is worse than the than fucking C-Fix on iRacing. You hate to see it, but I need to see what the fuck happened to me, man. <laughs> Racer's like, I missed it. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Hold on, man. This is some bullshit. This is That's some, some bullshit. bullshit. Look at this, man. Oh. Again, why? The same person. Wait, no, that's not Becca. That's Win Nergenton. Wait, is it? No, it's Win Nergenton in the '68. I thought it was Becca. My bad, Becca. I'm blaming her again. Fucking a. Oh, look at this man. So much carnage. Almost a God, I got everybody just oh fucking God. dies out here. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a single car in this race that doesn't have damage. I'm surprised nobody's hit that little divider between the track and pit road yet. Not yet. So, yo, shout out Matthew Burnett, absolutely ass packing Nate Stewart, <laughs> sending him straight wow. to the man, straight in there, right into the shadow room. Hate to see it. I think some some drivers went down pit road. Uh, Flotsam come get some Gotsam is in the pits. Christian Schlomer is coming out of the pits as well. Oh, there's T-Bone. There goes Eric Keplinger. Win Nergenton fucking spun me. Damn it, Sanook. These guys are chilling. Look at these guys. These guys are losing their hoods and everything. It's crazy out here. Oh, Jade's down in the pits. Hopefully he doesn't lose a lap. Oh, wait, how much is I don't know how these guys are finding their pit boxes. They all look the same. I hope Jay didn't retire. All right, he's fine. He's fine. He's still there. So shout out, Jay. That would be something. So, are there any other DNS from that? There are no other DNS from that. Somehow, everybody survived. Uh, Brad Flynn is up in front right now, but he, I think he is on the verge of being a lap down. So, the, the real leader right now is VCM Chipmunk. 
showing the lead. They're, they're, bro, this is going to be totally random because, you know, drivers pit just whenever they feel like it. It did, it makes no sense. Like, these guys were nowhere near the front before this wreck happened. I'm a lap down now, and I'm in the middle. John is still third, so if John can just keep his nose clean for the rest of the race, like, he can make it there. Highly doubt. <clears throat> Highly doubt it, though. Highly doubt it. Shout out, Nate. Uh, I think Nate's a lap down. Yeah, Nate's a lap down. I'm a lap down. Uh, Matthew Burnett. Uh, Davin Cornelius. Yeah, and O'Connor Bolt are all a lap down. Everybody else is on the lead lap right now, so they're chilling. They're just hanging out. It's going to be fucking nuts. But we must continue to pay our bills. Unless the pace car lights go out now. Yep, they're going out now. So there's no point in doing an ad right now. I've wasted all that time talking. <laughs> so yeah, the, the sponsors aren't going to be happy about that. No, they'll be fine. I talked a little bit too much there. Hate to see it. Okay. Alright, pace truck lights are out. VCM Chipmunk is the leader. Uh, Brad Flynn is going to be fighting to try to get his lap back. Hopefully he can do it and actually get to the back of the pack so he can start gaining some positions. <clears throat> Where is your hood, Nate? I don't know. You know, everybody's hood is just getting took right now. What is a hood? Everybody getting their ass took. What the? What is a hood? What do we define as a hood? Why are we here? <clears throat> it's like that scene in Next Friday. My roof. My roof. What the fuck am I doing? What Hello? Doing? <clears throat> Hello? <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Don't you dare go down to the pits, bro. Don't you? No, don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. don't what the fuck? The fuck? Oh, Nate blew up. I didn't blow up. I don't know why I'm going down to the pits. Fucking shit. All right. Nate just blew up, so shut up. <laughs> Nate's like, what the fuck? I don't know why I'm following the pace truck, man. I guess I'm just trying to follow the rules or something. But green flag is out. VCM Chipmunk's in the lead right now. What what happened, Jade? What's going on? I don't, I don't, I don't even know anymore. Yeah, everybody's like going half the speed that they were before because everybody just fucking died. Shout out Jade way in the back like that. Everybody in front of VCM Chipmunk is right now is literally just fighting to try to get their lap back. Kyle Solomon is not fighting for his lap back. He's fighting for the lead. They're going three wide with a lapped car right in the middle. Can they keep it clean? And it looks like they're going to be able to. Kyle Solomon is going to take the lead. The number one David Shieldhouse fan. And he is going to be in the lead with Tangle Wolf right behind him. Fighting for a second. Tangle Wolf is stuck on the high side. He's not going to be able to do anything about it. He's being blocked off by a bunch of lap cars right there. Can we delete lap traffic? Bro, I wish. NRB's stupid with the lap traffic. We'll be able to get in a green flag run that is more than three laps. I look like Kyle Solomon was about to get turned by Tanglewood, but they managed to keep it clean for now. Oh my god, Flynn made a block in a century! He just blocked all the leaders trying to get to the pits! Flynn, you absolute menace to society! Are you kidding me? And now these guys are all stacked up! Trying to get an order. Jesus Christ, Flynn, what was that? <laughs> the absolute mad lad just brake checks the entire field and they somehow kept it clean. But they can't keep it clean on a normal lap. That is insane to me. Wait, are they wrecking? I hear, I hear commotion. Now they kept it clean. Look at these guys, man. They're crazy. The JJ Yaley experience. Jesus Christ. So, uh, VCM Chipmunk just checked the fuck out. Uh, Davin is trying to stay on the lead lap. If he can stay ahead of VCM here, he will get to the get his lap back. So he's doing all he can to try to stay in, uh, stay in the, on the lead lap right there. It looks like Leota's belt is trying to get by these lap cars so she can start catching up to VCM Chipmunk. Kyle Solomon is stuck on the high side. These guys are going three wide for third place. We got Kyle Driscoll on the bottom. He was the winner last week. Kyle Solomon running the high side. And Tangle Wolf is just chilling in the middle right in front of John right there. So you got to be careful with these guys. Looks like they're going to go four wide. Almost four wide. Coming out of the corner. Are they going to get turned? Jackson Lucas oh. Hullet hard into the inside of the wall. Thanks to Catskill who is making their Scrub Series debut. And you hate to see it. But that is going to bring the field all back together. After Brad Flynn just literally checked the entire field. Oh, there goes Nate. Nate's still out there. Shout out Nate. He literally blew the fuck up and he's still running. What a chad. Nate is still alive, man. That's crazy. You truly love to see it. 
What's her name? So Hudson Catskills actually okay, destroys. <laughs> Razor says, fuck, I'm done. Okay, Razor, you still have a chance, man. You still have a chance. Oh, man. I don't know. It looks like his truck might have despawned. Fucking Ooh, bodies that inside wall. Oh, he might be stuck on the banking. Yeah, what are they gonna do? Oh, oh, oh! Does he get going? It looks like he gets going. Hey, there he goes. Stop. Yeah, that inside wall is eating a lot of fucking trucks today, man. It's getting crazy out here. So this is actually how Nate is going to be at Road to Broad. Look, I give him a little kiss on the butt. You'll love to see it. Homies, help! Him. Holy shit, chipmunk! Yo, what the hell? Fucking menace! <laughs> Bro, what is what? What you set this shit to? <laughs> Are you sure this is normal? This is not normal. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Oh shit, man. Wait, back up? For, for what? Fuck, man. Contact out of two? Shit. What? What happened? Is that where the, is this where the yellow flag came out? No, oh, this was like a little after. We're gonna miss the fucking ad window again. Alright, so, so we saw it when we were uh, spectating VCM, so let's give it a look. Can't even roll. When VCM flew by on the back stretch, there was a wreck on the, in the back. There was a wreck in the back? Oh, oh I mean... Well, them boys do Oh, Nate! Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he tried to split the gap! There goes Kyle Driscoll, man. Fucking shit. Okay, yeah, that's it. Crazy. What is going on with y'all? I don't know, man. Y'all wilding out. If the pace car lights don't go out here, all right, we get another ad finally. Woo! We get the pay. When we asked Reebok to send us Terry Tate, some people thought we were crazy, but I'm a firm believer in paradigm breaking, outside the box thinking. Hey, buddy. Oh, Jackson Lucas Hullo just blew the fuck up, by the way. And since Terry's been with us, our productivity has gone up 46 percent. <laughs> We're getting more from our employees than ever before. You know you need a cover sheet on your TPS reports, Richard! That ain't new, baby! Hey, Terry. Hey, Janice! Aging but what's really impressed me is how Terry's become part of the Felcher family. Ah! You get high, baby? He fits right in here. Ah! That's a long distance call, Doug! To be honest, I wish Reebok sent us 10 Terry Tates. You wanna play game scene? Well, when it's game time, it's pain time, baby! Woo! Shout out Jackson Lucas Holder for blowing up as we go to commercial. The, the Scrub series is unpredictable, man. You never know what's gonna happen. It's never safe to go to commercial, even though we desperately have to go to commercial because I'm living in an attic right now and there's nothing else I can do to pay the bills. I hope you guys can respect that. That's fine. That's I'm doing my best out here, man. Actually, um, Jackson Lucas Hullet might not be out of the race. Because remember when, uh, when Nate went to the pits, he, he was still able to come. Actually, wants to go. damn, bro. He might be, he might be gone. I think we lost him. Damn, I think he might actually be gone, gone. I don't know how Nate's still in the race, man. He's five laps down, but he's still kicking. So shout out to, shout out to Nate right now. He's chilling out there with no hood. He's just trying to run his laps, try to get as many points as he can. Very resembling of his road to pro career. And that is that is literal slander because he's actually been killing it. I think he's in position to actually move on to the next round. So shout out to our boy Nate, man. Literally on the road to pro. Come on, shoot more at me. All right, shoot pace me. truck is in, ladies and gentlemen. We have Jay's brother screaming in the background. I don't know what he's playing. Probably fucking Fortnite, even though that game died two years ago. VCM Chipmunk is going to be leading them out of turn four to get take the green flag. Leotis Pellis and Kyle Driscoll behind them, along with Kyle Solomon and D3. Green flag is out, ladies and gentlemen, and we zoom in once more. So, Jade, uh, we're not going to be green for very long, I guarantee it. So how about you tell us a good old war story? Good old war story. The good um, war story. I know I told you this, but um, when we were doing our confidence course and all that fun stuff, um, we were doing uh, like we had to jump over this one this one wall. 
you. Right. And there was, it was raining beforehand. So there was a puddle in front of it. And my drill sergeant happened to be in front of it. Oh. <laughs> and, and, and so I he, it, took, it took me a second to, to hop over. Him. And, you know, I fell. And I uh, got water all over my drill sergeant. So, uh, yeah. There was one. Um, she was pissed. Like, she wanted to kill me. And so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I go says, sounds like Jade. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't tell the full story, though. You said, like, you were fucking, like, laughing when it happened. Oh, no, I was laughing. And she was pissed even more. Like, everyone was laughing, high key. And she threatened to put me in the gas chamber, like, Oh my fire. fucking god! <laughs> Like bro, like she, she, she I was pissed. She, I just, I just literally got down and I just started doing fucking uh, push-ups. Oh, there How many push-ups she made you do? Oh me. And she just, she's like, get the fuck up, get the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So while Jade was telling that war story, we've actually been on our longest green flag oh. run yet. So shout out to the scrubs for actually keeping it clean for once. I'm sure this won't last. Uh, Leota's pelt is challenging for the lead, and I think these guys are going fucking three wide behind them. Absolute menaces to society. So shout out Jade, man. We're so happy he's home. We get to chill with our boy. Well, hold on, hold the fuck up. Is that Mika Suzuki? Proximity. Oh, they're a lap down. They're two laps down. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was actually gonna be third place. I was getting excited for a minute. So shout out Kyle Solomon holding P3 against the other Kyle, Kyle Driscoll. These guys are getting super fucking close to each other, man. They might wreck. You never uh, even know. They're yeah. still green. I am actually don't even know what to say right now because I didn't expect them to keep it green like this. I think I can't wait to see these guys go to like a big ass track like Daytona or something. It's going to be fucking absurd. Oh, they're going to go forward. This is where they wreck. This is where they wreck. This is where they wreck. Oh, there they go. Oh, they're going to keep it clean. No, they can't. I thought they were going to be able to Ooh. save it. Carter Boyd gets spun. I think it was by Timothy Bone and like somebody else. So they were able to keep it clean for Jade's uh, war story. So shout out to the Scrubs for paying respects to our soldier. And shout out to Carter Boyd for absolutely ass packing, hardly paying right there. Um, I don't think Nate Stewart's going to be able to get a lap back. And it's getting fucking us. We're almost halfway through this race. You know, it's been flying by. Not really, but let's just pretend that it is. So it looks like VCM Chipmunk is still in the lead. Leotis Pellet is second. A Kyle Solomon is third. A Kyle Driscoll is fourth. A uh, fifth place is Tangle Wolf. You know the, the points are going to get really shaken up here because I haven't seen Benjamin Fanny near the front at all. So it's going to be nuts. It's going to be fun doing the points after this. Let's check out that last incident real quick. Let's give it a look. How about this one? I call oh! it DJ and with the gift sub. Oh, like belongs in the trash. Ah! <laughs> Yo, I love this. DJ, thank you for the gift sub, man. Appreciate you. Second gift sub on the channel. DJF, enjoy those emotes, man. Appreciate you, man. Much love. So let's take a look at this real quick. Oh my God, they all just come together. Like there's literally nothing they could do. Timothy Bohm manages to escape with his life. Some people, like, more people will body that inside wall. You know, every wreck has been happening in the inside wall right now. I'm surprised we haven't really seen any flips aside from Emily Everlyn. You see John speeding up through the pack, passing everybody as, like, a menace to society. The absolute mad lad he is. You'd love to see it. DJ H gives us up to DJF. It was beautiful. We need to renovate the inside of this wall. At this race probably moved a couple centimeters. <laughs> true. True. Fucking true. Alright, so let's take a look at the lineup right now. Actually, I need to check out the whole ass standings, bro. It's getting fucking nuts out here. Chipmunk, Leotis Pellis, Kyle Solomon, Kyle Driscoll, Tangle Wolf, Timothy Bowen, DJ Harris, Ace Stogglemaker, Wynn Nurgenton, and Derek Smith are rounding out the top 10. Uh, Jackson Lucas Hullet has retired with a piston issue. Um, that will put him in P32. Fast Frag and Emily Everlin retired earlier on in the race. Uh, Matthew Burnett, O'Connor Bold, Mika Suzuki, Carlos Borges, Brad Flynn, and Nate Stewart are all laps down. Um, it looks like Davin Cornelius was able to get his lap back, so shout out Davin, man. He's busting his ass out here, trying to get back into position to get a good finish here. What happened to your boy Alpha? Alpha's chilling. He's 21st. He was in the pits, but you know, he's, he's out there. 
you know he's he's doing what a scrub can do literally doing all that he possibly can being a scrub and all but you know fuck those back markers man who cares we need to play another ad do you have a drawer full of sharp knives but prefer to cut your bread with a doorstop i'm anthony sullivan and this is why i masturbate it's the edge of glory, mankind's first step into space colonization. Behold, a credit card. You can buy things with a credit card, I'm sure you knew that. But did you know you can sell things with it as well? Such as murder? This device is so advanced, I'm shitting my pants. Here's the secret, it's the erect nipples. This sad kiwi doesn't stand a chance. This orange is having a bad day. Fuck whatever food this is. I'm slicing and dicing this celery's whole family. Oopsie, I grabbed the shitty knife. Edge of glory can turn that shitty knife into a titty knife, giving you perfect slices. It also has super suction. I wouldn't shove this pineapple inside of my wiener hole if this was the last pineapple on earth. Prior to the Edge of Glory's existence, you had to pay tomato prostitutes in cash, but now you can force them to accept the credit card for sex, otherwise they will face certain death. Give a tomato a false sense of security. When it thinks it's safe, throw it on the fucking knife. The Edge of Glory can fuck chef's knives, fillet knives, paring knives, and peeling knives. Stand back, I'm Anthony Sullivan. Do not try this at home. This is a knife on a grinder. How does that taste, bitch? There we go, alright, now let's see how it cuts. It can't even cut a fucking orange. But if we put it to the Edge of Glory, we can cut through the perception of time. An orange is not even an opponent for this Edge of Glory enhanced knife. It's just too easy for an Edge of Glory knife. Look at this brutality. You could be paying around $160 for a very small piano, or you can pay $10.99 and get your own Edge of Glory. But wait, I can get even hornier. I'll throw in a three-piece knife set. Now I bet you're asking, Sully, what can I do with three knives? The possibilities are endless, you son of a bitch. You can cut, peel, dice, fillet, fist yourself. It's a $20 value that you're getting for free. Control your body fluids. Cause I'm doubling this fucking offer. That's, That's right, right, the, the offer- We gotta cut the ad! I feel- I feel so bad. <laughs> I really wanted to listen to the rest of that ad. But we are green flag racing once more. VCM Chipmunk is still in the lead. Absolutely gapping. <clears throat> Leo does Pelos already. Trying to hang on to second place right now. He's more so defending against the number one than he is um, trying to chase down VCM in the 86. But he's trying to get around me. I'm just trying to chillin' in the middle. Trying to mind my own business. Trying to get my life. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. What? In the world. Yeah. I'm telling you, that's the move. Well, I'm confused. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> Bro, we're not even halfway. We literally just made it halfway through the race. How? Uh, what is going on? I got, I got passed. I got spun out for a third time. <laughs> Yeah, he killed himself, so he doesn't have to- Oh my god. No, Volon, I I've said that this is worse than an average C-Fix race, man. This is- this is worse. This is- this is worse. These guys are zooming around the pace car. Alright, I see y'all. But are you- I got spun for a third time today. I- I- I hate it here. And Carter Boyd is ass-packing people coming out of turn four. They're all ass-packing each other. Alright, alright, get a good whiff, everybody. There you go. Latino. There you go. <laughs> Yo, we gotta get a Menards ad up in this puppy. Up in this puppy <laughs> instead of bitch. Oh shit, but the Menards ads aren't funny. But you gotta have like funny ads. Like Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage type shit. Hold on, man. Who the fuck spun me? Why did my sister spin me, man? That's some bullshit. Thank you for the biddies, DJF, man. Appreciate you. Dude, this is literally early days moon car. But to be fair, this is still kind of moon car sometimes. I, I know it's gotten better though. But especially early days moon car. Especially, I remember when I did the first race and those, and those Cadillacs at Daytona. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, DJF got, uh, no, not DJ. Actually, just DJ got spun. And then there goes Wynn Nergenton spinning around. Doing a whole ass 360 no scope. We need Bud Light Real Men of Genius ad. Hey, Amen. Leave leave the ad suggestions in the Discord when I make that channel. I'll make sure to at you guys that are uh, that are watching right now, so you guys will be able to leave all the ads you want. Looks like Mika Suzuki got a lap back. Where's Mika? Mika actually gets all their laps back because they were just one lap down. So shout out Mika Suzuki. Here. 
Oh. Yeah, actually no. Maybe because VCM passed them? Afterwards? I'm so confused, man. This game's stupid, but I love it. It's so chaotic. But we're gonna make sure we get to this ad quick. So, we're going to bless you with some cool ass shit. If you're dumb enough to buy a new car this weekend, you're a big enough schmuck to come to Big Bill Hell's car. Bad deal. Cars that break down. Thieves. If you think you're gonna find a bargain at Big Bill, you can kiss my ass. It's our belief that you're such a stupid motherfucker. You'll fall for this bullshit. Guaranteed. If you find a better deal, shove it up your ugly ass. You heard us right. Shove it up your ugly ass. Bring your tray. Bring your title. Bring your wife. We'll fuck her. That's right, we'll fuck your wife. Because at Big Bill Hell, you're fucked six ways from Sunday. Take a hike to Big Bill Hell. Home of challenge pissing. That's right. Challenge pissing. How does it work? If you can piss six feet in the air straight up and not get wet, you get no down payment. Don't wait. Don't delay. Don't fuck with us or we'll rip your nuts off. Only at Big Bill Hell. The only dealer that tells you to fuck off. Hurry up, asshole. This event ends the minute after you write us a check. And it better not bounce or you're a dead motherfucker. Go to hell. Big Bill Hell's car. All the more filthiest. And exclusive home of the meanest sons of bitches in the state of Maryland. Guaranteed. All right, Pace Truck is Karen in, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Karen, fucking T, Jade. All right, Jade, why don't you lead us to the green flag here, baby? All righty, here we have, I don't know the name because, you know, I'm blind as shit. I'll, I'll leave but... it out like that. Bye. And we're on the green light or green flag, and here we go, boys. Um... Let me tell you. Let me tell you what happened. And his friends coming back. So they had my ass go to this live nerve agent when I was training in AIT. And let me tell you, man, not, not one of the best moments in my life. What is he doing? You know? Yeah, yeah. We had to go through a live nerve agent chamber. It was fun. Live nerve agent. Yes. Um, it was like, it was weird, cause like we had to be in full kit and everything like that homie what happened hey homie what happened yeah war stories by jade um but yeah no we had to be like a full and full gear um hey i ain't uh i ain't higher level enough los are you talking no oh, okay, he, he keeps telling your story Fuck this oh, caution oh, 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 <laughs> 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 just just speak up a little bit though all right no so basically like we had to be in full like gas mask we had to wear like this type of suit and everything like that and so we like we went through it and stuff like that and one of the people who was already active like who was already like they were just reclassing and stuff like that um they got nerve agent in their shit so they had the they like she like her like she was she had a headache her eyes were like dilating and shit like that and fucking, right, so go dude, dude, it was fucking weird because I was whispering about it and shit like that. But shit, always gonna be so. That was an interesting time though. I I enjoyed it. I'd do it again. Ten out of ten. Would not recommend for y'all, but you know, ten out of ten. How is how was it ten out of ten? But you also don't recommend. As I don't want y'all to die. But you didn't die. No. Well, do you think they will make it? Is that what you're saying? No, I don't say that. I'm just saying. He also can't see. On the that's only for you know stupid people like me, because you know I. So just try to keep mm -hmm. busy. Cause you sold out. You, you you sold your soul to Uncle Sam. Yeah. Is is that what happened? Yes. But that's okay. Blew himself up. Is it though? I mean, I guess it is. I mean, you'd be getting up at five in the morning. I mean, that's not okay. But like everything else is okay. You know, I, w I would go to the gym with you, but like, I I feel like I can never get enough sleep to like drive out there like forty minutes at like before six in the morning. I would I would love to though. Can't even like stay up past like eleven. It's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all good, man. We all good. All right. So VCM Chipmunk has pitted for whatever reason. I guess um VCM Chipmunk didn't pit yet in this race, so they had to get some fuel or whatever. So that leaves Kyle Solomon in the lead. Right, but right in front of behind them is Kyle Driscoll. Um, I'm chilling in the P3 position, but I'm not even in P3. I'm just chilling here as a lap car, trying to pretend that I'm P3 because nothing's going my way so far. 
but the actual P3 is Tango. P4, Timothy Bone finding his way back after getting cut some mayhem earlier on, and P5 is Leotis Pellis, but we must pay the ads. Man, Jay just okay. asked Jay just asked me where did I find this shit? Are you kidding me, man? I hope everyone tries to be like Carlito. Carlito cool, man. Fuck them kids, honestly. Alright, baby. Pace trucks coming in. We got Kyle Solomon in the lead right now. We are finally at lap 61. We're gonna I'm pretty sure we're gonna have more caution laps than we are gonna have like actual laps. But that's okay. That's literally the scrub series in a nutshell. We love Dover. This has been producing a lot of chaos lately. I don't think anybody else has retired since that last since that last wreck. But Jade, oh my god, somebody's zooming in the back. What the fuck? Hello? Who is this? Who got the Kyle Bush restart? Oh, that's my dog. What a menace. Just came to the line full speed and got trapped. All right, so we got the two. It's the Kyle and Kyle show up front right now. I'm just chilling right below Mr. Kyle Driscoll doing my best. VCM, welcome on in, baby. You have the first overall pick in the draft. I don't know if anybody told you, but you got pick number one, and you've been leading most of this race. You just pitted. I don't know why, but that happened. It's Kyle Driscoll on the bottom of Kyle Solomon trying to go back to back. He won last week at the Taylor Swift Superdome. It wasn't last week, but it's the last race. Let's just pretend it was last week. Oh, they're wrecking. Oh my god, VCM, <laughs> right when he comes in the chat, he's riding on his roof and he's flipping the old Joey Logano special. Jinxed. Absolute jinx. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he's fucking dead. Right when he comes in the chat. <laughs> Please, God, no. Oh my god, get the tarp. Get the medics. BCM is fucking dead. Welcome, welcome, BCM. Look at this, uh. Oh, come on, this. dude. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, what was that? No room at all. Oh no. Oh, oh my god. Goodness. Get the medics. Yeah, dude. R.I.P. Pouring out. It does fit your name, the Crash Master. Oh my God! Literally, the that that's the most that's the most incredible wreck we've had all day. I go all by the way. Easily, the most incredible wreck we've seen so far. All right, where is he? Get the fucking tarp. Beautiful slow motion with VCM and Benjamin Fanning here. If anybody wants to open a GoFundMe to pay for VCM's hospital bills, feel free to do so. Is, it, is Ben still there? Ben's still there! Oh wait, no, I'm not live. There we go. Ben's fine. Shout out Ben. Oh, VCM's still in it! Yo, what a chat! Shout out VCM, still chugging around. First Omar. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hey, John didn't do it this time though. Shout out VCM, the absolute menace. Hanging in there. I think they're a lap down now though. Yeah, they're definitely a lap down. They're gonna have to fight to get their lap back. Absolutely dominating race in the earlier going, but now they've gotten into a, a real, um, a lot of trouble here. Flipping down turn three here at Dover, but they're gonna have to fight their way back up. So here's how the lineup is looking right now at lap 66 of 100. This is the lo this is the longest 100 lapper of all time, but that's all right. We're having a good time. We've cautioned, we've cautioned like almost like every lap. <laughs> the average speed is 75. I go faster on fucking like I 275. <laughs> Bro, I be going I be going 90. <laughs> what? Why? Because I need to feel something. Because <laughs> I need to feel something. What? Anyways, um, Jade, are you all right? Look at Taco. Are we ever really okay? Is that a is that a question? Right. Yes. Was I ever right in the head? No. Did the army make it worse? Yes. Yeah, it definitely did. Do I survive mostly on caffeine? Alcohol and depression. Yes. What have you been doing? Alcohol. 
What do you What do you drink? Liquor. Liquor. What kind of liquor? Uh, don't, don't fly Anything that has alcohol you, in it. Is there any o openings for a pit reporter? That's reserved for my dad. <laughs> he w he really wants to be a pit reporter, but he's not home right now. Remember, he was the he was the pit reporter last time. And it was fucking hilarious. Did Jade, Jade sniff some, some of that nerve agent? <laughs> Honestly, I probably did. Papa Los was the pit reporter last time when we were at the Taylor Swift Superdome. He was the co-commentator, and he was um he was also the pit reporter. He was doing double duty. All they had to do was not not charge you. All, all right, pace truck lights are out. Kyle Solomon is still in the lead, but Kyle Driscoll's right on his tail, trying to go back to back. Will we see a back to back winner in a six race season? That would be fucking insane. That would definitely make him like number one on everybody's draft board right now. Oh, Mika Suzuki has a chance to get back on the lead lap, so shout out Mika Suzuki. Pace truck is down on pit road. Jay, do you have any other stories you want to tell us? I don't know. Let me think. Because you were there for five months. I know you got something. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Like, some something, some, like... Oh, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you the day I got there. I was... Oh, dude, yeah, your was, first day. All right, so we just got off the... We got off the plane, right? Yeah. And so when we were when we were chilling out, oh, I was in Missouri, the worst state ever. <laughs> yeah, please end my misery, dude. I was there for five for five months, man. That was horrible. Oh, I was in Fort Leonard Wood. I was in Fort Leonard Wood for a good minute, and uh, so basically we got there. They stuck us with cotton swabs and stuff like that because they had to test us for covid like you know your boy was covid free for like five months you know really tango i got you all my 10 piece stuff i'm gonna like you pick you up and we're driving you live in missouri <laughs> interesting I, I hate your state I hope you know <laughs> dude i was there during the during the snowstorm and i hated that so much i had to shovel snow for eight hours one day and all right, so we they they stuck us up they stuck us up with the COVID test and all that, um, dude. I literally stayed up for like forty eight hours and I was on little to no sleep. So they had us in processing for like a whole week, you know, doing like all our financial stuff, you know, making sure our rank was right, uh, dental, um, you know, make sure we have good hearing, our sight wasn't too fucked up. Get in, get in, get in. Dude, that, I hate, I hated it. I hated it. That that was the worst experience of my life, processing, and it was for a week, and we had no phone, we had nothing. I love how we've gotten to a point where like there's so many cautions now that we just don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> we just have you keep telling your story. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Do you have anything else from that day you want to tell us? Uh, we had to we had we had to watch someone who was on suicide watch. I piss myself when you lock on the. Oh bank. yeah, that one guy. We he took off his lace. We had to. He, they, they take they take their laces. And like he was walking around. What do you, what do you mean laces? Like uh, their boot laces? Yeah, your shoe laces. Your laces. They take everything that's a stream. And so, like, they take it from you, and this man was just walking around with laceless, laceless boots. Why? Oh, because, like... Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. So. Yeah, I went the wrong way. I don't know, dude. I cried. I almost cried when they when I saw my bald head. Yeah, That was the worst day. I, I had a whole... I had a full head of hair, and it went away in a second. This is how I'm gonna feel good today. But it is what it is. Yeah, I think Doggo's laughing at your misery right now. Of being in misery. That's fine. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> oh, change of plans. Alright. It's fine. It's not fine, but it's fine. <clears throat> right, Jay, so while you think of another story, we're gonna go at oh you're laughing at John getting rats. 
How about the dude who does the in-car audio for Wreck replays like the spotter or driver? No, no, that's not happening. That's too I'm much. I'm Jade in the ring right now, dude. I've uh, got so weak during basic. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Like, I lost so much you know, mass. Like, I, I look lean, I look good, but like, I lost like the strength with it and it sucks ass. Because I tried to go on a bench today and I could barely do one for a one. 35. Damn, for real? Yeah, dude. That, dude, I was so mad. Bro, like, that was me in, like, senior year. Like, when I when I was still, like, bearing, barely looking at a weight room. Like, now I'm just repping out 135, but, like, I need to bench more, though. Dude, I knock out, I knock out like, freaking push-ups and stuff like that, but, like... Yeah, it's, it's a different kind of workout, though. Like, moving your exactly. own body weight compared to, like, moving outer weight. Like, that shit don't... That shit don't oh, translate yeah. as much as you think it would. It's crazy. <laughs> Nah, dude, like the, like, cause I, like, I weighed 180, 85 mm -hmm. when I, before I left, and now I'm like 150. Damn, so you lost like 35 pounds over the span of five months? I mean, the, I, like, I've weighed myself kind of sort of every now and then. I weigh 147 at one point. Yeah, I remember when you, uh, when you got here, you're saying you weighed like 147, 145. Yeah, dude, that was, uh, that's, I, that's the lowest weight I've been. I haven't been that weight since I was a kid. I don't think I've been that way since like senior year. Actually, no, Not maybe sophomore, junior year, because like sophomore in the middle of sophomore and junior year was when I um, when I started getting in the weight room for the first time. And then I just got a little bigger. But then in senior year, I didn't see a weight room again until I got weight training uh, for the second semester. Latino. Team on, thank you for the biddies, man. Appreciate you. Lawson Jade, who we betting on to win with three quarters done? Oh, who we betting on to win with three quarters of the way done? Who's who's who? Who, who you got, you Jade? Know you know me. I always got to pick the doggo, Mr. Bolt. Oh, I thought you said you you, you, you you tricked out doggo. Oh, my bad. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, you did that on purpose. Don't lie. Nah, Mr. Bolt. <laughs> you faked his ass Actual out. Damn. Ass Oh, so the literal dog. Is that is anybody else out of this race? Damn, nobody else is out of this race. We got so many people lapped down right now. Alright, so we got Kyle Solomon in the lead right now. Kyle Driscoll dropped back a little bit, but that's alright. Uh, Becca Pierce is going to be trying to get her lap back after spinning me. Fuck Becca Pierce. So, uh, she's going to be holding the bottom right now. DJ Harris tucking it behind the lap car, trying to get underneath. And Kyle Solomon is going to be able to hold out. Oh, are they wrecking again already? Every single time I hear a little scrape, I think they're wrecking it, and then I panic, and I check the back. Oh, looks Yo. like DJ might turn! Ooh, 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 they barely make it through. That's gracious. Didn't they? we can make this last 25 laps clean? I fucking doubt it. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. Oh, they're going four wide back there. Oh, they kept it clean for now, so shout out to these guys for actually, like... Not spinning out for once. This is worse than C fixed, but it's still fucking hilarious. Leotis Pella challenging for the lead on the inside of Kyle Solomon. Is she gonna be able to get it done coming out of turn four? Because she's got the move set up right there. Tango's in third. It looks like Leotis Pella is not gonna be able to hold on to that momentum. She's slowing down a lot in the middle of three and four. John almost killed a man, but I think they're spinning back there. Oh, Madness. Eric Keplinger, there goes Shlomo. There goes Flotsam gets him. You hate to see it, man. You really do. Nate Stewart almost fucking obliterates Shlomo right there. It looks like Kyle Solomon is going to be able to hold on to the lead just a little bit longer as the caution comes out. These guys are going to be able to get going. I don't think any of them are going to be retiring. <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up, Timothy Bone? What happened, man? He was getting the run like five, six laps. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I got spun again. I got spun again for the fourth time. I'm done, bro. I'm about to like retire from my own series. I got spun for the fourth time this race. This is some bullshit. Like honestly, bro, <laughs> it's like damn, bro, stop being. <laughs> Oh, I got the golden sombrero right now, Tango. It ain't even a hat trick anymore. Fuck, dude. Alright. So, we're under caution once more. We got 20 laps to go. Jay, do you have anything else you would like to tell us? Or should we just take it to commercial? 
I will take it to commercial. I'm getting ready to, you know, finish my water. True, true. I'm gonna finish my water too. Stay hydrated, kids. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. At all. Uh, do we have any Drink other... alcohol, though. Uh... When you're old enough. Alright, there we go. Alright, new ad. I think this might be the last ad that we have, bro. Bet. Yeah, I'm looking at what we have now. This is like the last ad. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we need, we need more ads, man. Yeah, we do. I have, I have like 10 ads, and I don't ever expect to go through all of them. But, uh, here you go. We're here at the Krusty Cooch for the first day of the hotly anticipated new menu item. And as you can see, it's really pumping. That's right, canned coochie. You heard it here first, folks. Let's go talk to the restaurant owner and find out what he was thinking. Hello, I like coochie. And what brought you to this momentous decision, sir? Coochie. I've been chasing that coochie my whole life. Canned coochie rules. And what do you think about this, sir? How am I supposed to compete with canned coochie? I just can't seem to get anybody down to the nut bucket, and now nobody's gonna come. Pun entirely intended. This fish needs to go hop in line, because he needs to get himself some canned coochie. Meanwhile. Hey, Squidward. What do you want, Patrick? I was hoping to get myself some canned coochie. We're all sold out, Patrick. No! <laughs> Babes, I'm gonna buy some goods to give me. Just you know why. Why you and I. Why you and I. ما يتقلهاش لا Hey Struggle Lights are out ladies and gentlemen We are back at it Kyle Solomon is in the lead right now with a lot of lapped cars below them I don't think anybody else is retired We only have three retirements Out of all these damn wrecks Only three people have retired from this race VCM flips like a, like a madman and he's still in the race Wait, are, are they lapped down? They are a lap down. All right. So we have Kyle Solomon, Kyle Driscoll. We have Tangle Wolf, uh, DJ Harris, and we also have Timothy Bone. Fifth place. Vibin. So we have 19 laps left, ladies and gentlemen. We'd love to see it. All right, Jade. Uh, have you finished your water? Yeah. I'm about to finish my water too. I have I had like 64 ounces in here. I'm almost done. Dude, all I've been drinking lately is just water, and it's not it's not fun. I had a tiny bit of like orange juice earlier today, but like only only like half a glass. But it was nice. You, you know what I had for the first time? What? Unsweetened tea. Unsweetened tea? Did you like it? No. No. <laughs> I, I I love their sweet tea, but I had I was like I got nuggies because I was like it was late and I didn't have anything to eat. And it was convenient. Yeah, it was convenient. And I was like, all right, it's late. I haven't eaten dinner. I'm hungry. Bro, I nuggies. haven't been able to go to the gym and since like last Saturday because I fucked up my neck. But I do. I, we did top golf earlier today, and my, I didn't even feel anything in my neck while I was, you know, swinging the club around, so I think I should be alright. I'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow. You know what you need to get? Uh, do Tiger Balm. Put Tiger Balm all around your neck. Put what? Tiger Balm. Tiger Balm? There goes Leota's Pellet. Um, chilling in P2. Just get fucking bodied. <laughs> Thanks to a fucking lap car, and oh everybody's stuck <laughs> Oh, jeez! Oh, oh. Yo, what am I doing? <laughs> Oh my god, these lap cars are fucking insane, man. <laughs> Jesus am I, Christ. Am I done a lap? Naya, um... Are you? What the fuck? 
What was that? What? What is happening? Why are they all sliding into turn one? Why oh, are they sliding? What, what is going on? <laughs> what? Why are they oh all sliding? What are they doing? Yo. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god! Yo, someone gotta clip that. <laughs> oh my god! That might be the greatest thing I've ever seen happen in this game. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't stop! It doesn't stop! Yo! I'm fucking crying, bro! Oh my bro. god! I can't even- I spit on my fucking monitor! Oh my god! <laughs> Only in the scrub series will you see some dumbass shit like this, man. Somebody clipped that, oh my god. That's going directly to Twitter. What the fuck? <laughs> scrub to- Thank you, T-Bone. Very much appreciated. Yo, the number of clips went from 1 to 8 in the past minute! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god, it literally just shot from like 1 to 2 to 8 in the span of a minute. Oh my god. I love you guys so much, man. This shit's fucking stupid, I love it. I hope you guys are enjoying this, man. This has been one of the craziest races we've ever done. The, the AI just- yeah, the AI didn't give a fuck, bro. I'm definitely gonna be looking back at those clips. I'm just gonna pick one that, you know, perfectly shows what happened today. Back. Oh my god. Uh, Kyle Solomon's in the pits. A lot of these guys... Kinda survived, maybe? There's a lot of people in the pits right now. Fucking hey. Mika Suzuki, there am I. Uh, Lane Bricks, there's Keplinger, Alpha D-Man. Uh, who the fuck is Hudson Caskill? Uh, Kyle Solomon was leading and now they're not. Tango's in the lead right now. Can we just like appreciate that real quick? Our boy Tango just chilling in the lead right now with DJ Harris right behind them. I'm pretty sure DJ won a race earlier. Did he win Phoenix? I think he did. I think he won Phoenix. But Timothy Bone chilling towards the back of the standings, but now he's in P3 trying to get a good result under his belt. Davin Cornelius is not P4. I don't know what the fuck he's doing up here. He's P20. Uh, Isaac Johnson, he's been quiet all race long, but he's chilling in P4. P5 is Ace Doggo Maker making his way back up the field. Derek Smith is sixth. Who's seventh? Jason is seventh. We haven't seen Jason that much this race. So shout out to our Asian. He just came home from Miami yesterday. Did he? I thought uh. he was there for a little bit. Nah, he came back last night. Uh, Krishna was texting me. They, they said they came uh. back last night. Uh, Win Nergenton is in eighth. Uh, P9 is John. John is still in the top ten. We love our boy. <laughs> Kyle Driscoll is in tenth. And that is the top ten. Pace truck. Lights are out. We have 13 laps. We will be going green with 12 laps to go. And it's going to be fucking nuts. Actually, we're going to go green with uh, 11 laps to go. It just changed. It fucked me up. All right, baby. So, Jade, we're about to come to 11 laps to go. How are you feeling, man? Depressed. <laughs> uh, honestly, though, uh, I'm feeling good. I'm glad to be back. You know, I'm ready to do more of these. You know, I'm ready to get fucking swole. You know, get the fucking gains. You know, do I might low key try and set up the twi uh, streaming shit. So, you know, you might see me do some uh, solo dolo streams or do some streams with the boys. Either one, you know, I'm kind of I'm just excited for this rest of this year, man. This year is going to be all about fucking gains. Fucking and gains. Yeah. Yo, when you run in the morning, where do you run? Do you just run around your neighborhood? I usually just... I, I low-key don't get up early for that. Mm -hmm. I usually run two miles on the treadmill, though. Oh, I got you. All right. But I usually I usually run at, like, an eight. Like, straight. Yeah, I need to work on my running again. Like, I need to make sure I don't get no shin splints again because that was a problem for me. Oh, Tango's going slow! Tango's going slow! He's in the lead, but he's going slow! Oh. DJ Harris is gonna go into the inside, coming out of turn two. It looks like he's gonna take the lead. There are three wide for the lead right now. Timothy Bone is stuck behind the slow Tango Wolf, and like four drivers just went through. 
And it looks like DJ Harris is in the lead right now with 10 laps to go in this race. What the fuck happened to Tango? I don't know. Kyle Driscoll's in the pits. Tango's going super slow. I don't know if something's wrong with his car or what. Maybe he missed a shift and he's trying to recover. But you never know in the scrub series, man. You really don't. All of these cars are lapped cars right now. DJ Harris is trying to find his way around the lapped car of O'Connor Bolt. We got Derek Smith fighting his way from 6th place to 2nd place in the span of 2 laps. What a chad. DJ Harris is trying to get his 2nd win in the series. He's trying to get these lappers out of the way. But let's see if he can actually get by Matthew Burnett here. Matthew Burnett's been an absolute menace here. Oh, he blocks him! It's gonna hold him up a little Ooh. bit. And Derek Smith, it looks like Ace Dogglemaker's dropping back a little bit. He lost some speed. There goes John on the bottom. John's trying to get by. He's going up a little bit. Looks like he's trying to turn win Nurgenton right there, but he's going to keep it clean going into turn one. Timothy Bone dropped back a little bit, but he's still gonna get a good finish out of this if he can keep it clean, just like all these other cars out here. DJ Harris is on the high side. You can get a really good run on the high side coming out of turn four. But De Derek Smith is trying to challenge him, and it's not going to happen, big fella. John gets turned. Oh He's in the wall. Yo. And so is Timothy Bowen, Win Nergenton, and O'Connor Bolt. These guys are absolute menaces. And we'll be, oh, my God, Harley Payne just ass-packed O'Connor Bolt right there. I don't know. Timothy Bone got going pretty quick, so if he can stay out and just finish this race, he should be able to still get a good finish right there. And coming to the line, DJ Harris is going to be in the lead with six laps to go. So when we get back to green flag racing, it might be a green-white checkered. It might be a one-lap shootout. We have no idea what's going to happen. This is what the Scrub Series is all a fucking bout, ladies and gentlemen. Let's fucking get it. Jade, this is getting nuts. This is getting absolutely absurd. So now all DJ has to do is stay out of the pits and try to hold on to this lead for one, maybe two laps. We have no idea how many laps we're going to have on this restart. It definitely won't be three or more. Will it be a one lap shootout? Will it be a green white checkered? We have no idea, but you know what, man? It's going to get fucking nuts regardless. Balls Just to the wall. Balls to the wall, baby. So, Jade, we're coming Me to the end of this race. How have you felt about this race today, man? How does it feel being back in the Scrub Series booth? Feels really good, you know? We we loving the boys back. We we love being back. You know, we got to love all the homies that came out to, to watch us, you know, goof off and meme around and shit like that, you know? You already know the vibes. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what, like, how many more, like, how many more races do we have after this? Oh, uh, we have two more races. We have USA uh, Speedway and we have uh, North Wilkesboro. They're both really short tracks. But, all right. So, yeah, I'm ready. For, I'm excited for the ne these next two races, man. Like, I can only imagine what, like, if this much has happened, like, in race one, then shit, I can only imagine what's going to happen in the next two. Next two races are going to be intense as the championship battle heats up. It's going to be absolutely batshit. These guys are laying it all on the line just to try to become a number one draft pick after race six. So after race six, there's going to be a scrub series draft. So every team owner will be able to choose two drivers for their team. And then once that happens, once you guys have your drivers selected, then you will be able to know exactly what you're putting on your cars for when you paint them or when you have somebody else paint them. It's going to be a good time, man. Yes, sir. It's going to be literally the, I'm going to give you guys like a two week, three week period to literally let, just let your creativity shine and show me what you can do. It's going to be a good time, man. Hold the beans? Fuck you, DJ. Are you serious? Rice and beans and you don't want the beans? What? Bro, how do you not eat rice without beans? I mean, I can have it with chicken, but... Rice and chicken, please. Eat your, rice, rice eat, chicken. Eat your chicken and rice, boys. She don't want you back. Eat your chicken and rice. I like rice too, man. Just do some push-ups. Like... Do some sit-ups. Do some squats. Soy, eat your chicken and rice. Soy. Wait, so you just eat rice? You don't even have any protein with it? Chicken is going to all right, DJ. All right, you're redeeming yourself a little bit here. You had to redeem yourself before you get into this um into this restart because if not, oh man, we would have had a problem. And I would have come into your house and 
tickled your feet. What? Huh? 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 <laughs> Yeah, bro. I got you. All right, so we are within 10 laps of finishing the race. I don't know if it's 10 laps or 5 laps is the rule. But, like, there's going to be a lapped car between DJ Harris and Derek Smith on this restart. If Matthew Burnett can get out of the way, Derek Smith might have a chance to try to win this race. So it's going to be a green-white checkered finish here at Dover International Raceway. And it's going to be fucking insane, boys. A two lap dash. We getting lit. Matthew Burnett in a busted ass car. Everybody's in a busted ass car. I don't think there is a single thing going on right now. Or a single truck that doesn't have damage. Pace truck is off. And it's about to get fucking nuts. <laughs> I'm dying. Coming out of turn four. Here we go. Who gives a fuck what Dover's called? This track sucks anyways, Tango. Green flag is out in the air. And here comes DJ Harris trying to get by. Yo, get, get away from Matthew Burnett. Like, Derek Smith makes the pass. Derek Smith flots him, come get some, got some. He's on the inside of Derek Smith. I don't think he's going to be able to get there going into turn three. He clears him. Derek Smith is going to have to try to hog down the 48. Coming to the white flag, ladies and gentlemen. How is this going to play out? It doesn't matter if these guys wreck in the back now. It's the white flag. Derek Smith is getting to the back bumper of DJ Harris. He's going to get to his inside. Coming out of turn two. Here comes Flotsam. Come get some. Got some. Pushing the 11. What's going to happen here? Going into turn three. They're going three wide. Coming to the finish. DJ Harris. Is he going to get it? They're going. They're beating the bang. And DJ three no. wide at the line. Gets his second win. In the, in the scrub series, ladies and gentlemen, what a finish. What a photo finish. I think Derek Smith got second. Flotsam, come get some. Gonsam gets P3. Isaac Johnson gets P4. And P5 goes to our boy Jason. And of course, DJ Harris wants to rub it in everybody's face and do an extra lap. I think somebody died. Oh my god, they stacked I, up. Yo. The race is over. What are you doing? Somebody Bro, nerfed like this man. Like touching each other at this point. Somebody nerfed DJ Harris, How man. Two wins already. Ben! Thank you for the oh gift my. sub. Belongs in the trash. Ah! Ben, thank you for the gift sub, man. Appreciate you. Dual shock. Enjoy those emotes. Appreciate all you guys. Thank you guys for the support of this race tonight. It was absolutely insane. I gotta make sure that I save this. Race four at Dover. I will do the points later on today. How about this one? Oh Jesus Christ! More like belongs in the trash. <laughs> ah! oh. Thank you, DJ, for the tier two. What the fuck? The tier two? What? The tier two sub to Mugford by design. You love to see it. I don't think I've ever seen anybody gift a tier two. That's fucking insane. Thank you, DJ. Really appreciate that. You're an absolute mad laugh for that, but I hope you guys enjoyed this race. Here is the official standings. So DJ wins the race. Pretty sure it's the second race that he's won so far. I think he won Phoenix. So second place goes to Derek Smith. Third goes to Flotsam. Come get some Gossam. That's Papa Fiasco, if you guys don't know. P4 goes to Isaac Johnson, and P5 goes to Jason Sambon. P6, Jade for God. Look at this guy, man. I don't think anybody I don't think anybody knew, man. It's fucking crazy out here. It was literally just a war of attrition. If you survived towards the end, you were able to get a good finish. P7 goes to Carter Boyd. P8, Leotis Pellis. P9 is Alpha D-Man. And P10 goes to Ace Stogglemaker. P11 in his debut is going to go to Win Nergenton. P12, Timothy Bowen. Can't be too mad about that. It's not too bad. P13... Man, he was leading with 10 to go, but something happened on that restart. That goes to Tangle Wolf. P14 goes to John. Latino oh! T-Bone, thank you for the biddies, man. Appreciate you. P15 goes to Harley Payne. 16, Christian Schlomer. 17, Eric Keplinger. 18 in his debut, Hudson Catskill. P19 goes to Davin Cornelius. And P20, VCM Chipmunk somehow finishes on the lead lap after flipping and dying going into turn 3. That is insane. 
Absolutely insane. The never say die attitude by VCM Chipmunk. You'd love to see it. He's going to get the first pick in the draft, and he actually finishes in P20. That is impressive. I can't believe he actually finished P20 after dying, literally dying. So P21, Matthew Burnett, P22 is going to go to Lane Briggs. P23 is Kyle Driscoll, who's was having a really good race, and so was Kyle Solomon. He's going to finish P25. P24 goes to O'Connor Bolt. P26, Ben Fanny got into a lot of shit earlier on in this race. P27, Mika Suzuki sounds about right. P28, Becca Pierce. P29, I got bodied every single fucking lap, dude. P30, Brad Flynn. P31, Nate Stewart. He blew up the car and he still managed to actually finish the race. So you know what? You gotta respect it. You gotta respect what Nate Stewart did on the track today. Jade, how you feeling about Nate Stewart and his never say die attitude? L. L. Just big O. It's okay though. You'll get it next time, Nate. <laughs> P32, Jackson Lucas, hold it. P33, Fast Frag, and rounding out the field is Emily Everland and P34. You hate to see it. These three are the only ones that couldn't finish the race, which is actually surprising to me. I feel like half the field should have been fucking retired after this. But I appreciate you guys popping out for this stream, man. It was a good time. I missed doing the scrub series with you guys. But thank you. But that is going to be it for today's stream. Uh, we might go live later tonight if we decide to play a, a random game or something, if I have nothing to do. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, we're going to go ahead and ra raid our boy Racing Revo. Um, he's really cool. So make sure you guys show him some love. He's fucking dope. Oh, someone put the... The whatchamacallit. Oh, yep. There you go. Look at you, T-Bone. Already on it. T-Bone already bad. on it. So make sure you guys... He's doing some uh, road racing right now. I'm not sure what he's driving. Oh, he's doing V8 supercars. That's fucking cool. So make sure you guys show this man some love. Spam those emotes. Uh, spam that raid message. Let him know where you came from. Um, he's been showing a lot of love for us on stream recently. And he's a super cool guy. So make sure you guys show him some love, man. Appreciate you guys popping in. We'll see you guys next time. Jade, any last words you want to say for the boys? Nah, I love you. You said nah? <laughs> I, said, I gave him a kiss, but you know. Give him a kiss. I did. Give him another kiss. Nah. I thought, I thought you said nah, not moi. I was thrown off. Oh. <laughs> it's like, do you want to say any last words? And you're like, nah. <laughs> Anyways, I uh, love y'all. Glad to be back. Uh, I'm ready for the next, for this rest of this year. I'm gonna be grinding. I'm gonna be sucking some nipples. All oh, that. yeah? Yeah. Alright. Appreciate you guys popping in. I'll see you guys on the next stream. Uh, might be live later tonight, might be live tomorrow. I don't really know. Oh, we'll definitely either be playing some iRacing or some F1 or some ACC. It's gonna be something. Minecraft, oh, yeah, yeah if, I, if we're live with you, I'll play some Minecraft. So appreciate you guys. See you guys later.